G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So, today, we're embarking on a little project. You'll see me gazing my eyes around because I've actually lost part of that little project. Um, so, a couple of days ago, someone commented, why don't I put windows in the IBCs? Now, if you're a long-time viewer, long time being three months, maybe, I showed a bag of plastic nylon bolts on the channel. And um, I said, that's for a surprise project. Few of you guessed it in the comments, but the problem is I can't find those bolts. So basically, oh, and I cleaned the shed, guys. Look at it. We've got all this floor space. I got room to move. Um, shout outs to my missus, she helped me. Oh man, where are these bolts? All right, so I'm gonna find the bolts off camera because it's not gonna make good viewing footage, me looking for the bolt. But anyway, IBC number one is almost drained to where I need to go. Water change system is turned off so that it doesn't fill back up. Um, then I've got to drain IBC, IBC B. Um, I kind of need to drop the filters so they're in the water. Uh, and then find the, I've got the perspex there. I've, got, I've even got the um, sealer there. I've got everything to do this project. It's just one of those back burner things. Um, how about I turn the light on so you can see my face from every direction. Um, but the bolts is a huge hold up. I've got absolutely no idea where I put them. I know in the video when I showed you guys was on the kitchen bench and uh, I probably would have brought them to the shed to keep the missus happy that I'm not leaving junk around the house. But who knows. Anyway, I'll find them and I'll get back to you. And if I don't find them, you guys probably won't see this footage because I'm not going to upload something about me looking for bolts. Alright, so frustrating morning. I hunted. I cannot find the bolts anywhere. So then I was like, oh, pardon me. Okay, I'll go to Bunnings and buy some more. Bunnings discontinued their line of nylon bolts. So, I ended up getting stainless steel. It's complete overkill for what I need. But, I managed to get nice small ones. Cause, and I got nylon washers still. Oh yeah, get this. Bunnings still sell the nylon washers, but they don't sell the bolts anymore. But anyway, it probably worked out cheaper for stainless steel. Because the nylon bolts at Bunnings used to be really expensive. So... I'm trying to look at it as a positive, but uh, when I do find the bolts, we've got 30 nylon bolts for a fun project that we can do. Uh, anyway, let's get started. All right, so step one, I need to figure out how much of the frame I need to cut out. So if I hold my window there, I think I pretty much just need to cut out two lines, vertical and one line horizontal. Same on this side. The idea is the the window actually runs past the frame and the bolts will be underneath the frame. Um, just so it's got plenty of structure um, to support the window. Alright, so I'm just going to cut this out with a grinder. Basically, I'm just going to be careful not to hit the IBC. I do need to cut the IBC out pretty much at that line, but at this point, I want to cut the frame and work it out first. Oh, and also, if I haven't mentioned guys, I've already drained the IBCs lower than where I need to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this. Alright guys, so now I'm going to cut the plastic out. I am just using the grinder. It will melt a little bit, but it's the best tool I've got for the job at the moment. Um, feel free to drop a comment if you guys think of a, a tool which will be better. But at this stage, I haven't thought of one myself. I definitely know that a grinder is the wrong tool for the job. I just can't put my finger on what I should be using. I'm kind of thinking reciprocating saw but it's just so 
violent on the plastic. Even though the grinder does melt a little bit, it's a nice smooth cut. Alright, so now I'm just going to cut it out. I only had to mark the top line because the side and the bottom, I'm just following the, fr the frame. So uh, it's a bit easier than the, um, what do you call it, the top line I have to mark. Wow, check that out. It's changed the whole look of the whole the whole thing. Like, it looked like commercial grade chemical storage, and now just those cutouts. It almost looks like somewhere that could house fish. Um, that's exciting. Now I've got to drill the windows. This is going to be a bit of a nightmare. All right, guys. So next up, gotta get. Gonna get the window in position, so I don't think I can do this by myself. I got the missus to help me hold it. Um, I didn't actually film because two of us standing in front of this, you can imagine you wouldn't be able to see. Oh, and my drill is flat. No, it's not. So now. Um, I'm going to drill 15 holes. So pretty much, I don't, oh, don't grab two nuts. I've drilled four now, so I put the four corners in. And you want to make sure you put all the bolts in dry. Don't just drill a couple, don't just drill them and then glue it. Like, you want them all in. Um, so now, Basically these bottom ones, I'm putting them in between the rails because the rail pushes on it there um, so that's the most likely spot where it's going to leak. Um, oh, I'm going to have to keep the pressure on. Alright guys, so I mistook myself before I said you need to install all the bolts dry. What I was meant to say is you need to do the four corner bolts dry and just drill the rest. You don't really need to put them all in. Um, you can if you want, but I'm not going to. So basically they're both fitted now. Um, I'm going to rough up the surfaces and clean it with acetone next. Alright, so now I'm just going around giving it a quick sand. Rough it up. If it's a rough surface, there's more surface for the glue to stick on. And also if there's any algae and stuff on it, it'll get that off. Alright guys, so now I'm wiping it all down with acetone. Um, I'm using a flannel because I couldn't find a rag. Obviously at this point you've got to be super careful not to touch the water. Obviously, it goes without saying, hey guys, that if you're going to put windows in your IBCs, do, the, do it before you put fish in it. And obviously we don't want to be spilling acetone in the water. So like, my biggest caution here is making sure I'm not touching the water with this rag. Um, I'm pretty used to this procedure because I've actually worked on the koi pond so much with water in it. Alright guys, so I've got one tube here for two windows. So I've actually marked halfway on the gun just so I can make sure I'm using the whole half a tube. Um, basically, I want to go straight over all the screw holes so that we get plenty 
in the screw holes because um, if it's going to leak the screw holes are going to be the point in which it leaks so that's already almost half a tube there I don't like this bit here all right now the messy part trying to put this on so you want to try not touch the bit that you use the acetone on obviously it's inevitable in some cases but um, it has to be done this is going to be a mission obviously guys if this drops into the water it's a right off so that's my main worry right now is not getting it in the water I'm actually a few washes short so if the top ones I'm only going to put a washer on the inside and not the outside just so they go go a bit further obviously the top ones are going to have the least water pressure so less stressful uh, I forgot the washer on the bottom one I was meant to set the rattle gun up for this but I forgot So it's not really a huge rush, it's not like the Sikaflex, well I've used the Sally's version in this case. It's not going to go off in seconds or anything. But obviously like the quicker you do do it the better. Um, I think it goes without saying, make sure you've got all your nuts and bolts set up so that when you actually start gluing they're all sitting there ready to go Alright guys, so that's one done. I just tighten it with the ratchet, only rattle gun, only to like one click, like tick tick, and that was it. Um, so there's a, there's one area that I'm a little bit suspect about, and it's right there. You can kind of see on camera how it's like that's the skinniest spot as far as the sealer goes. Um, I might even pump a little bit more in there if I've got a little bit left. Uh, there's a spot up the top here, but I'm not that worried about that. I'm just going to make a mess. So, I'll just leave it at that. I might try and clean that off with the acetone because that looks like rubbish. Um, the water line, actually. That there is higher than the water line. I don't know why I'm worrying about it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to do the next one off camera, guys. So that was pretty stressful. And you don't need to do me see, see me do the same thing twice. Alright, guys, check it out. Window number two is in. Um, so basically, 
I kind of feel like I skimped out on the bolts a bit. They're about a hundred millimeters apart. Um, in theory, in my head, it seemed like close enough together, but I'm a, I'm a tiny bit skeptical that it's, it's going to seal. But at the end of the day, the water pressure is pushing out on the window. So the pressure is pushing the window against the seal, the um, Sikaflex. So it should act like a gasket. Um, we'll just wait and see, I guess. I'll keep you guys posted. If they leak, it'll definitely be on the channel. Um, I, I did put a packer just here to push this out. Uh, I am uh, thinking about kind of putting packers along there to like spread out the load, but I haven't done it yet. I'll keep thinking about it for another month and then probably never do it. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, a little bit more of a constructive vlog. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a bit of a project, so I hope you like that. And if you're new to the channel, I hope you enjoyed it as well. Um, if you are new to the channel, hit the little red button. I'm saying this backwards, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.